This week, I made a birdhouse. Hi everyone, welcome back to the City Aperture channel, my name is Jose, I go by City Aperture, and uh, this week's project is a little different, well not really, I've been wanting to make a birdhouse for the yard, um, but I wanted to do something that's reachable for anybody to do, so I went to the cheapest place I could think of, I went to the dollar store and I found a bunch of these guys, this is a little kit to make a wooden birdhouse right so I'm thinking I want to make a birdhouse this one's basically ready to do but I want to make it a little more complicated so I went and I bought five and the plan is to try and make more of an epic birdhouse using just this materials well this and I also bought one of this guys which is a uh, bird feeder of some kind so, I've got six kits for my material, and we're going to see what kind of a cool birdhouse we can make for multiple birds, obviously. And uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. Um, this comes, so the only thing I'm going to use that doesn't come in the kit, is, and I'll go through it to show you what's in the kit, this kit's come with a little bit of glue inside of it so it has this super glue in it and you can see in the back of it here all the stuff that comes with it and one of the things is super glue i think i'm going to use wood glue instead and i'll just save all this super glue for something else but let's just get to it the first step was to come up with a design so turning to sketchup i came up with actually a few iterations of the design until I settled on this one. It's a fairly straightforward design with two houses pointing the same way and the other two also angled the same direction. Um, now this was just sort of a test, it's not to scale and it's not exactly how it's going to end up but it gave me an idea and you know you can see I went through a lot of ideas of how to mess with this little house but ultimately I like this one the best so we're going to try and make something very similar to this again as we're building it. You know, it may not end up being exactly the same way. But that's it. Let's get to making. So here you see the package that it comes in. Uh, the package comes with a little kit. It comes with a few pieces. You have a little dowel for the bird to sit on. You have a string. A little glue. Some very tiny eyelets. And then you have the front and the back of the birdhouse the two sides, the bottom of the birdhouse, and then four pieces for the roof. Here we look at the whole thing. It's quite small and here's everything laid out. I didn't use the string or the eyelets. Here what I needed to do was to make the hole that the bird goes in a little bit bigger. It's actually quite small so I used a, uh, a Forstner bit to enlarge the hole. And uh, Here's a comparison of the original on my left and then the bigger hole on the right and you can see it's quite a bit bigger that way the birds can go in freely and then assembly starts I did replace the existing dowel I had I went out and bought a, a new dowel because the little dowels that the bird would sit on were too small it's basically just a little glue in so let's just watch some of this back and forth I was using blue painter's tape to hold stuff as I was gluing it checking for a square and then holding it in place. Here, after I joined the two houses together, I'm starting to set the angle of the third house, you know, the house that's basically at an angle to the other two. And, uh, yeah, it took a little bit of testing back and forth, and then attaching the other one. Once both of those angled houses were attached, I put some reinforcements, and it's a matter to put the roof on. Uh, 
couple of the roof pieces were fairly simple, but the other ones, the ones that are in the intersecting parts, I'm here measuring back and forth and trying it and gluing and then going back. Um, once I got one side pretty well laid out, it was easy to do the other. But uh, yeah, you know, wherever they intersect, you just have to keep testing back and forth. And once all the roof pieces are on, so a little more back and forth. There it is, so all the roof pieces are on and then a little more reinforcing in between them. But there's the birdhouse ready for painting, which is going to be the next step. I primed the whole thing with some white priming paint, then I put some red on one and I wanted to paint one red. The blue that I did here didn't work out, didn't like it, so I masked everything else off and got myself some silver spray paint. Figured might as well go with a little platinum slash silver color. So here you see me painting the blue away. And then it's just a matter of removing the previous masking. And the house is going to be ready for hanging. And there you have it. So there you guys go. That is how I made this birdhouse. There you go. You can see the angles. And uh, I made this birdhouse out of nothing but this packets from a dollar store. And now I say nothing but, I did switch out the little dowels that are meant to be for the perch. Were really small in this thing. I'll show you one of them so you can see the comparison. Uh, I bought a, a, a nice shawl sized dowel because otherwise this is the comparison and you can see how much smaller it is. No bird could stand on that. So I switched those out and made them bigger. Um, I used wood glue instead of the glue that it came with. And, uh, and otherwise, and a little paint. Other than that, everything else came from the dollar store. So this cost me probably six bucks to make. Um, it was fun. I kind of made it similar to how I used to make my architectural models when I was working in, well, back when we used to still make architectural models. Uh, here, I'll show you this one. This is uh, one of my architectural models from when I was in school. You can see again, this is when we still did little models of buildings. Um, Everything is a computer now, so we don't make a lot of this, which had me thinking about making more of this sort of stuff. Making more computer, making maybe making more models and stuff like that, and I have the 3D printer too. So I, I don't do a lot of this kind of stuff with my hands. I mean, you guys saw the... Incredibles house, I 3D printed it rather than making a model of it, so You know, it's uh, one of the things I think I'm gonna do more of it. We'll see how we'll, I'll have to find something to do it with um, But yeah, that's it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it again If you this is something you could do with kids you can just do on your own over a weekend Just buy a couple of these things and just mesh them together and come up with a real cool birdhouse and it's sort of unusual uh that's it. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, you know, like the channel, like the video, all that like stuff. Uh, but I'll be back next week with another project. So see you guys then. If you guys like this project, then maybe you'll enjoy the podcast that I do with my two colleagues, Claudia and Ray. We discuss purpose-driven design, making, and manufacturing. We talk about architecture. We talk about all sorts of making. We have a project of the week. So, uh, yeah, please check it out. Again, it's called The Made Podcast. Thanks so much.